what's going on everybody we got baby girl Courtney and of course Vern the baby boy so we ended up going to the vet today for his where he's licking right there is the first time I've seen him licking uh, to see what that knot is on his leg and hoping we were thinking maybe he just hurt his leg sprained it something of that nature but it turned out to be bone cancer so yesterday <laughs> was Vern's five-year anniversary that we adopted him so uh, it was just Courtney because one of our greyhounds, our last greyhound, she had passed away from a broken foot. Because <laughs> she was like 14 and wasn't going to heal and she couldn't walk. Um, so if you don't know the story on Vern. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I wanted a, a St. Bernard. My dad had brought my mom home a like three foot high St. Bernard bank with a bank around its neck. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing him lick his paws here, his foot. But um, I had always wanted one, but it just never happened. And we've had plenty of dogs over the years. And then uh, after Jenny had passed, we ended up, I was in the bank drive through and the car next to us had a St. Bernard in the back seat, looking out the window. So, like, all the memories come rushing back of childhood. St. Bernard always wanted one. I'm like, maybe now's the time to try to find a St. Bernard. And uh, with Jenny passing, Courtney started acting a little differently. Kind of depressed looking, you know. I don't know. It just wasn't as active. So, we wanted to get somebody to, for her to play with. And, uh, hey, Vern, what you doing? <laughs> but, um, then a couple of days later, I was at the Goodwill Outlet thrifting. Because that's what I do, as you can see on this channel. <laughs> and you can see Vern and Courtney almost daily on this channel. Um, I picked up this backpack thing that was sealed, threw it in the cart, was getting ready to throw it in the cart, you know, grab it to resell it. And as I was getting ready to throw it in, it had, uh, it was a St. Bernard backpack for a St. Bernard. For like a rescue style backpack. And I was like, what are the odds of this happening? Uh, a couple of days after that, I had a friend on Facebook, Linda, tag me in a stray, stray rescue of St. Louis video where they were rescuing a St. Bernard from a house on the north side of St. Louis. Somebody just left him in the house to die, basically. And uh, we made our phone calls, filled out the application, wanted to make sure we got Vern into our lives. And the next day, we were... Uh, I think it was the next day. We were down there. We took Courtney down to see how it, she would interact with them. And then that next day, which was five years ago yesterday, we brought Vern home. And I'll post all the videos below of uh, the rescue video from St. Louis Stray Rescue. And the first time these two started playing together in the yard. I'll put that video below too. But, uh, so yeah, today... <laughs> found out he's got bone cancer so he's on just started his pen, pen, pain meds tonight and his inflammatory meds and prognosis is anywhere from 1 month to 11 months 
you know, obviously it's all about quality of life. Um, right now, everything about him is normal except the limping. That was the first time I saw him licking it. Um, so I'm not sure how long the normacy will last. You know, at least as normal as it can get without him being totally uncomfortable. So we will see. Um, I got instructions on how to bring him, help him down the stairs so that uh, he can still be in videos. Because I don't, I don't want to take him out of his norm. And they follow me everywhere, no matter what room I go into. They're right behind me. So I don't want to have to go and work for an hour and him just be up here pacing without me. So, uh, so I will, for as long as I can, bring him down the stairs with me. Uh, one of the positive things is I didn't overfeed him. <laughs> uh, his last checkup was like, it was probably about a year after we had adopted him. And he was, I added him up to like, a, he he weighed in at like 148. And they suggested I cut his food back a little bit so he doesn't get so heavy, even though he's a St. Bernard. Um, but me with a bad back, it's hard to get him to the vet. So he hasn't had no problems in the four years since his checkup and his blood work and all that. So we just never had a reason to take him until today. And yeah, I got the news. <laughs> so if you don't know, not only was she having a hard time at the time he came into our house, I was also, uh, my wife had just, she was going through a lot of health issues that, you know, are still going on to this day, but it was, you know, relatively newer and new things being added on to her rheumatoid arthritis, like Crohn's and what have you, going blind in one eye. Um, not only that, my brother had passed uh, not too long before that. And uh, not too long after my brother passed, I had to move my dad in the house. So after about a year of my brother passing and my dad living, I was just in a very low, depressed state with my wife's health and trying to care for my dad and him still not being over my brother's death. And it was, it was just, it was hard. <laughs> Him coming in. Him coming into the house was a breath of fresh air for me. Kind of gave me a second wind, if you will, to keep going. So he's been like a, you know, a savior, if you will, for me at that time. And I never had a dog so protective. Um, Courtney always followed me everywhere. Um, I had two labs throughout the years who followed me everywhere. He follows me everywhere, but he's very protective of this house. Uh, especially, you could tell it within the first week because he didn't know voices yet of the two boys and Jan exactly and stuff. So whenever somebody came in, he would stand between me and them and the door until he got recognition of he knew who these people were. Uh, very protected dog, and even to this day, if he hears a stranger, a friend of the boys or something come in, I mean, he'll make his presence known with barking, you know, it's like he does in the rescue video, and which is intimidating if you don't know him. Um, but yeah, he's very protective of anybody who comes into the house, or protective of us over anybody who comes in the house. Uh, a lot of people who come over like to clean the furnaces or whatever, they're kind of afraid to 
approach him or pet him just because he's protective. He's not. I don't know, he's he's just also oh, lovable though. <laughs> he's not, you know, mean. It's more of a I know you're there, watch yourself type of protection, you know, not an attack per you know, per se. He does play a little rough. If you get him really playing, he'll open his mouth when he's playing with you and it can really scratch you. Um but other than that, and it's it's not done intentionally. But yeah, so not sure how much longer we're going to have him at our, in our lives. But I'm trying to get all this out now, today, just so I can get over it. Because I need to make sure I give him all the, you know attention and stuff he's going to need because he's done so much for me so just wanted to make this video update and <laughs> I know so many of you love watching these two in my videos I get so many comments of just when they walk into the video and how you enjoy seeing that so just thought I would share and thank everybody for all the words and support and the love. Just going to try to enjoy as much time as we can, as much time as we got left. This is the first time I've ever dealt with something like this, all the other pups in my life are just more of a sudden thing. It just happened. Never had to deal with I know it's coming type of feel. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to be able to, how I'm going to handle it past the day, today. But I know what I need to do. So that's why I'm just getting all my feelings, all my emotions, all my thoughts out today. Whether it's Facebook posts, YouTube videos, whatever the case may be. Because this pup has helped me so much in my life up to this point in the past five years. <laughs> Emotionally. And of course, gave Courtney a great partner to hang with and play with. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing, just like laying comfortably, I guess. But anyway, so for an extra treat tonight, they got a uh, hamburger. <laughs> so I don't want to, uh, well, did I, did I finish my thought on his weight? Maybe I did. Maybe that's where I was going with that one. Uh, but so today he weighed in at 114 instead of the 148. That's where I was going with that one statement. I had lost myself. Um, and th they said that that is actually a good thing because being the cancer is in the bone and it makes the bone a little bit brittle, puts holes in it or whatever, and grows on it, that the lighter weight, even though he's a big dog, you know, it would probably be shorter time or more, uh, it'd be, it would hinder him more if he had more weight on it, so that is at least a positive that I was able to get him from 148 down to 115 114 so I always thought he looked skinny I'm like man I should give him extra food <laughs> and then sometimes I'll do I'll give him like an extra half a scoop I'm like here you go I know you gotta be hungry but maybe it's a good thing that I did not Maybe it'll give us a extra week, an extra few days, you know, tacked on to what could have been. Whichever the case may be, as long as it's an extra something, it'll be worth it. 
So, as of now, we are out. And I want to thank everybody. And we will see you in the next video.